DDoS, or distributed denial of service, is an attack where resources are flooded using multiple machines and computers. DOS, on the other hand, stands for denial of service, which makes a website unavailable because the server is being flooded with traffic. Main difference between DDoS and DOS. System attack. The DOS revolves around a system-on-system -system attack, whereas DDoS is about a single system being attacked by multiple systems. Speed of attack. DOS attacks are much slower when compared to DDoS attacks. Can it be blocked? Dealing with a DOS attack is easy because only one system is used. The challenge lies in blocking the DDoS attack, as multiple devices send data in packets from different locations. Single device. A DOS attack can be resolved with the help of a single device that is used with the backup of DOS attack tools. Defense against DDoS is difficult, which is why we use volume bots. Tracing. Distributed denial of service is almost impossible to trace because it appears from multiple openings. You're playing whack-a-mole with hackers. Denial of service, on the other hand, is much easier to trace. Traffic volume. Traffic volume is limited with DOS attacks. In the case of DDoS, the attacker benefits because they send vast amounts of traffic to the victim network. Three most common DOS attacks. Number one, teardrop attack. Number two, Ping of death. Number three, flooding attack. Four most common DDoS attacks. Number one, fragmentation attack. Number two, volumetric attack. Number three, protocol attack. Number four, application layer attack. Industries at risk of DOS or DDoS attacks. These five industries are the most vulnerable to DOS and DDoS attacks. Gaming. Gaming companies with passionate players are easy targets for hackers. The attackers impersonate players and steal data from the other party without them knowing. For example, in mid-2014, Riot Games' League of Legends was attacked by DDoS. The League of Legends servers went offline, and the game was interrupted for several hours. Eventually, the attack was accepted by Lizard Squad. Software The software industry falls prey to hackers that flood the server with vector attacks. For example, Amazon Web Services was attacked in 2020. The employees saw 2.3 terabits of data entering its servers and harming their directories where the personal data from millions of users is stored. Fortunately, AWS bounced back. Entertainment Sector DDoS attackers gain access to press coverage events because the entertainment industry is constantly recruiting new people. Hackers see this as a golden opportunity to enter the street and infiltrate the company's network. Banking Sector Danish Bank and Bank Data were recent victims of major attacks. Internet Security DDoS attackers choose the infrastructure layer attacks when targeting the internet industry. Three ways to protect yourself Tight Security The best protection against DDoS attacks are strong passwords. Regular updates make the hacker's job that much harder. Firewall protection. Make sure your firewalls and proxy are protected. Sufficient capacity. Because volumetric attacks take up the majority of the space on your network bandwidth, your server should have enough capacity to handle the traffic. If you would like to know more about the intricate world of cybersecurity, don't be shy and smash that subscribe button. If this video was useful, don't forget to like it and watch another one on our channel.